Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to PlayStation Grenade. Today we are looking at Easter eggs in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. We have a host of movie references, secret locations, and generally weird and bizarre happenings here in Bolivia. So let's get to this and start with one that gave me the chills. On the far right of the map is a swamp you can travel to. It's located just south of the nearest fast travel point. When you approach, the location is identified as Child Hut. A few hundred feet away, take out your drone and fly over the makeshift campsite to see a young boy who looks pretty happy. We've got our objective. Well, if you get too Saddle close, to he work. will turn and run into the bushes. And a few seconds later, he vanishes into thin air, replaced with an explosion of leaves. There's a document nearby too, and it tells of a young boy who went to assist his mother, who was washing clothes. But when he entered the water, he mysteriously disappeared. Did we just meet that boy? The campsite is filled with teddy bears and kids toys, which really back up this story and make it feel a bit unnerving. I wanted to see if he really was a ghost, so I shot him from quite far away. It turns out you can murder ghosts. Sorry, little boy. Watch it, you just killed a civilian. Another mysterious location can be found in the lower left corner of the map, in Nuevo Mundo, which roughly translates as the New World. This area cannot be marked on your map, but once you discover it, you can fast travel there. In this village, all the inhabitants are descended from aeroplane crashes from around the Andes Mountains. It also shares many similarities with the film and true story, by the way, Alive, in which the community find ways to survive in sub-freezing temperatures using the plane's remains. There is even a cemetery similar to that which the survivors of the film created for their fallen comrades. This is overlooked by a huge cross to mark the crash site. If you didn't know about Flight 571, I recommend the book, I recommend the documentary, and I recommend the film to appreciate what happened and what the survivors endured. Sadly, the film has Ethan Hawke in it, so um, sorry about that. Another film reference can be found in the Salt Flats in North Kowani. A single leather chair sits upon the endless backdrop of pure white salt. It could be a random inclusion in the game, but people are suggesting this is a homage to the Matrix and the construct scene where Neo is learning about hacking into the Matrix and defining what is real. I'll let Morpheus do the honors. Weapons, training simulations, anything we need. Right now, we're inside a computer program. Is it really so hard to believe? Are the Wildlands developers reminding us that we're playing a game and we should probably go outside into the real world? Nah, let's keep playing. If you take a trip over to Bavacos, I have no idea if I'm saying that right, I apologize. Anyway, if you go to this location, there is a palace which looks mighty similar to the towers found in early Assassin's Creed games. If we get closer, the similarities continue. On top of the tower are four extensions, which were used by the assassins to jump from. And look, one of them even has an eagle perched upon it. I'm sure you remember the eagles flying around the vantage points in Assassin's Creed, right? If that wasn't enough, there is even a container at the foot of the jump, just like those haystacks we frolicked in as Altair. Oh, the memories. I wasn't sure whether to include this, so here's a quick shout out to Dogtown in Itaqua. Yep, it's a town only inhabited by dogs, as all the people have mysteriously vanished, or probably been taken by the Santa Blanca. It's supposedly forbidden to say the town's name, but what the heck? Yo, Bull! Hey, I'm still okay. Let's crack on. You can't make a video game without a Dark Souls reference these days. It's the law. So if you want to see Wildlands version, get your backside over here and take a short walk up the hill. A sword on fire, as made popular by Dark Souls. If you haven't played Dark Souls, then don't ever try it, because it will ruin your life. By the way, the flaming sword is a bonfire in Dark Souls and is used as a checkpoint. But it's so pleasing to the eye that I just stood here because I wanted to see it in daylight and nightlight too. Yep, I'm that sad. There are a few unlockable costumes, which arguably are Easter eggs too. The first is from another Tom Clancy game, The Division, and I'm expecting other Ubisoft costumes to be added over time. But the second one is called Dying Earth, which I believe is a nod to Mad Max. If you don't know who Max is, I demand you go back and watch Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. It's easily the best in the series and came at a time where films could be ridiculous and no, still be loved. And it's also before Mel Gibson went a bit, you know, weird.
There's a few unexplained secrets in Wildlands I'm including even though I'm stuck at the next step. All around Bolivia you can find these strange rock piles which are used for prayer. One in particular is more important and can be found in Inca Camina. What makes it so special? Well it's this small idol placed on the ground nearby. By interacting with this little stumpy bugger, it suddenly jumps onto one of the altars. Any self-respecting easter egg hunter could not turn down this challenge, so off I went to find the other seven. I'm completely lying about that because I just waited for the reddit community to find them all and then I went to get them. Staying in and around Inca Camina and travelling over to one of the highest points in the game, by the way there is a Ubisoft achievement for finding this spot, here at the top of the mountain is yet another totem which I'm going to call Gary. Interact with him and just to check that this works, I went back to the ritual spot to see if Gary made it home okay. He's here, he's fine, let's grab the others. Just south of the Kowani salt flats is yet another totem on a very high point and just look at the view you get for picking this up. Over at this point in Libertad there is also another high point with another totem and yep another lovely view. Next get your backside over to Malka in this spot there is a small estuary with one of the totems taken in the view of the lake. In the top right hand corner of the map is a waterfall. Search around for a fallen tree, this will lead you to yet another bloody statue. For the next one in San Mateo you will need a chopper. This little bugger is just sat looking over the valley, so pick him up if you get the chance. We gotta find it first, come on. Over in Aqua Verde is the hardest little blighter to find because it's slightly underwater in a small village called Playa Serena. Go to this exact spot or risk looking around like an idiot for 20 minutes. Yes, I am that idiot. With all the idols collected we can travel back to Inca Camina and look at our handiwork. We did it and the locals are having the time of their lives, lighting candles and having a silent rave. Sadly that's it, nothing bloody happens after this or at least I can't figure out what to do next. Do you have any ideas? Please let me know below. Fuck you doing killing a civilian? That ain't the mission, shithead. There are four hidden buttons in Ghost Recon Wildlands that explicitly say do not press, but of course no one can tell us what to do. Press those goddamn buttons. The first can be found in a burned down forest in La Cruz, where this happens. The second button can be found to the southwest of the original starting zone, by the dam. For this one I recommend waiting for nightfall. The third button is on the salt flats of Kowani. Mark, you're a fucking genius, man. I think you suck. Wow. <laughs> Mark, you're a fucking genius, man. I think you suck. Wow. <laughs> and the best for last, the angel of death atop of the mountain in Malka. I have absolutely no idea what these fireworks displays are here for, but I'm glad I pressed those buttons. Fuck, you're a fucking genius, man. I think you suck. Wow. <laughs> Fuck, you're a fucking genius. If there are any buttons that I've missed, please let me know in the comments below. Wow. Finally, the myth of the Yeti is currently sending the community wild, but it's yet to be spotted in the game. 
For over 10 hours I've spent wandering around the mountains, but I can't find anything except a few dead bodies with scratch marks on them as evidence. What also feeds into this by the way is the downloadable Yeti Hunter costume, and there are also some files around Bolivia which hint at this white beast. I suspect the Yeti will be added in a future update, or maybe a DLC, because if I'm honest I just can't look anymore, I'm sick of the sight of snow. Do you have any clues to offer? Have you spotted the Yeti yet? Please let me know, I'm dying to find the big bastard. Anyway we've reached the end, a whole host of easter eggs, collectibles and secrets that have been unearthed but the Yeti remains a mystery. For more videos like this one, please like and subscribe. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. I'll see you next time.